All right, guys, we are back on Sky Factory 2.5, and today we're just going to do a little bit more Batania. I'm not really looking to do a very long episode, but there was a couple fun things that I wanted to get done, and uh, basically two things, and they kind of go hand in hand with each other. The first one is a thing called a Jaded Amaranthus, and I found this guy. I literally read through all the description of all these guys. Uh, this one, basically just everyone likes flowers, right? And so this produces flowers, like no using um uh the 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 freaking fertilizer stuff the mystical fertilizer or whatever the the flower itself does it and it seems like it's pretty simple to make the redstone root is really, really simple purple you know the flowers we got and then the spring is probably the most uh, in-depth thing we got to do and that's just three saplings with some wheat I've already got one of the fire and we just have to make a root of the water and that's easy that's bone meal sugar cane a fishing rod and those two so we're going to go ahead and get this guy done today, and it's going to be awesome. Let me just grab all of the sugar cane here. Should end up with a weirdest thing lately with my picking up. I missed one somewhere. Probably went in the water somewhere. I don't know. Should have been 18. No, I got 17. And now I have 18. That was weird. Okay, um, I just need to grab some more iron and some more redstone. So I'm going to grab like a little half stack of it because we seem to be using a lot of it. <clears throat> and I'm going to grab all 13 ingots because, like I said, we seem to be using a lot of it. And I'm going to need saplings. Um, I just needed three for right now. We'll just grab a whole stack because it's plant related. It's, it's probably going to come up again. And then what was the other item that we needed? Oh, a fishing pole. We can do that. Fishing rod, bingo bango, got you, and we're good to go. And we are gonna get this going. Oh, you know what? There was something else. Um, make sure I got the ingredients. Oh, I'm gonna need to grab some wheat. It's this one right here. What's the recipe for that? That's just redstone and grass. That's easy. I'm sure I have a pair of shears around here somewhere. I do, and it doesn't seem like it has a lot of uses left, but I've got the redstone, so we've got that, and we can make the root. We're all good to go there. Chink, chink. Thank you. Got you. And yeah, that's everything, right? The redstone root. Um, you know what? It's time to move all this stuff over. I need. What do I want to do here? I can grab all the petals for right now, right? I should have room for the petals. And I've already got the earth one because we did the the rod earlier. Let's see here. You go right here. I'm just put all the petals away. So at least we have the petals here for right now. That's four. That's it. That's that's ten. I think there's sixteen total, so I'm missing some. That's twelve. It's eight and four is twelve. I'm missing like four of them. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, I need to grab wheat. Need to grab some wheat thinking maybe building a little farm over here that way I don't have to constantly be running around to get stuff but it'll be okay let me just grab a whole thing of wheat here and we should be good should be good to go all right so the first one we're gonna do is this one so it's wheat three saplings oh no I need the root of water Okay, so it's mana steel, mana powder, bone, bone meal. <sighs> that was my long sigh of, I always forget stuff. Bone meal, let's grab you. Let's make like a whole stack. Yeah, let's take plenty of bone meal. I kind of want to go make uh, some heart canisters with the uh, necrotic bones because I know I can and start adding on to my health so I don't have to worry about getting beat up on. Okay, so we got you, got you. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna make up a couple here. We're just gonna go ahead and make all this into mana steel. And we're gonna make a whole bunch of this mana powder because it seems to be something we're using a lot of. <coughs> and then, basically, well, I need a bone meal. Let's do this again. 
need to figure out a way to be more organized. Uh, powder, steel, fishing rod, and there was something else. Oh, and the sugar cane. Gotcha. You, 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 you. I don't know how that's auto-populated. Like those, I don't see how those two particular items connect to each other. It just seems kind of funny to me. But apparently, when mana steel runs out, then the mana powder wants to fill its place with the autofill feature. Kind of curious, but hey, you know, I'm sure there's some type of logical connection I'm just not seeing. And I need to grab some of you. Um, was it really fast and I just missed it? Am I missing something? Am I missing something in the ingredients here? Powder, okay, bone meal. Did I put the bone meal on? Bone meal, sugar cane, fishing rod, mana steel, mana powder. Sugar cane, bone meal. Why isn't this working? Am I not getting mana to this thing? Oh, I redirected this one. I need to redirect you just for the moment, dude. I need to redirect you over here. Now you're doing your thing. There we go. And this is probably going to stop working. Well, let's see. It's got some backed up mana, so let's see. It's got mana stored, right? And it doesn't seem to be using a lot. Like, I don't even see it moving. Interesting. I guess I don't really need to focus on that one too much. All right, cool. And you should be done shortly. Oh, I need the living stone, though. All right. Come on. I do wish this was a little bit quicker. I mean, I get the, you know, a little bit of animation's cool or whatever, and... You know, you shouldn't be able to get anything really quickly. Oh, by the way, I got some more overgrown scenes in uh, loot bags. So I planted some of these hydrangeas. And uh, they should be still producing. So you can see the exo flames are not currently producing. But those, these little guys are. Let me, I think I got the coal in this one. Bloop, bloop. Let's go ahead and feed these guys. They're hungry. They want to do more work. Yeah, yeah, fill that bad boy up. And you're ready for me to do a zappy zap. All right, so we got the water ones now. Now, now that I got the water one, I need the water, the fire, and the saplings, and the wheat. Okay, so one, two, three, wheat, fire, and I didn't pick those up, did I? Where'd you go? There you are. I got my living rock back. Or That was weird. I shouldn't have got that back. Should I? Who knows? All right. So, water, fire, wheat, sapling, sapling, sapling. Do your thing. Do your thing. This one's going to take a little bit longer, it seems like. So anyways, um, while we're doing that, the other thing I want to make is this thing called the Horn of something. Um, <laughs> where are you at? Under these things? Oh, those are all the rods. Horn of the Wild. This thing is kind of cool. Basically, if you right click with it, it uh, um, chops all the flowers and everything in the area. Anything that's breakable by hand, like grass and stuff like that, it just cleans it all up. And I'm going to go test out, test the heck out of it. But I gotta make this guy right here. And this guy, I cut a piece of grass just for this guy. Um, that's why I cut the grass. Where? Did, oh, did I put the grass in here? I did put the grass in here. Let's throw you in there real quick. Wait, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want a fern. I didn't want a bush. I'm hoping this goes back. Back to grass, okay, cool. I need to do you in just a regular one. That's what I need to do you in. That's where I need to do you. There we go. And then I'll grab a couple pieces of this wood here. I think it was like five or six. And um, what was it? Horn. It's a really simple recipe. There you are. Like so. And then we're going to go test this bad boy out over here. So apparently it just breaks all the grass and everything. 
check that out. I mean, I spent the time bone mealing all that or whatever, and, you know, I just wiped it all out real quickly. But this could be very, very useful for uh, the floral once we get this jaded amaranthus. And that is just really, really cool. I wonder if it works on the, like, the other ones that I've already planted. I need a torch here. Torches, torches, torches. Torch. Okay, cool. I don't know if it's going to break these. I kind of want to test it real quick. Let's see. Does it break these? No, good. Good, 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 good. All right, so put you back and throw you on there. And bingo, bango. And I got all those things back. So the runes come back, which is cool. That's actually really cool to know that the runes come back. So I'm not completely spending them. Now I've got the rune of the spring. And what was the last recipe? Uh, jaded amaranth is where you at. There you go. So it's rune of spring. Oh, the redstone root. I gotta make that guy. Redstone root. Really? What am I doing here? Redstone root. Oh, that's why I actually had a piece of grass. That's funny. But it worked out both ways, so. Let me go let me do dump these seeds out of my inventory. I've got a chest here full of seeds. Um whatever. Pam's harvest craft, man. You got a lot of stuff. And like this is this chest is like full. And yet I still don't have enough room. Interesting, but thank you for the grass. Redstone root, I can actually do that. Oh, no, I need to go grab the redstone. And it's yeah, just kind of all over the place with this stuff. Um, where? Oh, you know what? I turned all that redstone. <laughs> uh, I turned all the redstone into that uh, mana powder. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Redstone. It's so nice having all this extra redstone. All right, we got the redstone root now. Cool. Let me dump these seeds while I'm here. I don't like my inventory being this full. All this Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. I gotta get a farm going soon. Make sure I got everything. Um, green. Yeah, I got all the petals. And then, yeah, the redstone root and that thing. Okay. All right. <coughs> so what color petals do I need? I need purple, lime green, and green. Lime green, green, and purple. Got you, got you. Now I just need to grab my water bucket here. There we go. And you, 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 and you. I should probably grab a seed. I only have one. I should probably bring a stack over here. And now we got this jaded amaranthus. Okay, cool. So this guy is supposed to just naturally plant flowers. I put you down and flowers should just start growing around it. Oh, I gotta send some mana to you. Let's send some mana to you. Can I, am I in bind, which mode am I in? Function. Okay, can you hit that guy from way over there? Does it get there? Nope, I think that's the, I think that green dot is saying this is your limit. So we'll go ahead and put it where the green dot is. Now are you connected? Nope. Do I just have to have a mana pool in the area? Is that all it is? Hold on, let's bind. Binding mode to this. Can this work? Hold on, binding mode, right? Function mode, binding mode. What's going on here? Oh, you're still selected, that's why. 
you to there. That doesn't seem to be working. Am I too far to bind you here? All right, so maybe the mana pool's got to be closer. But that's fine. That's fine. I mean, if you work, you'll work right here just fine, right? Whoa, that was fast. Yes, apparently that works. Okay, okay. So we've got flowers now. Flowers are... Wow, that works really fast. And I don't know how much mana it's using, but... That's cool. And then I just do this thing? Flowers for days. Flowers for days. Okay, we're going to have to make a mana pool and move you because having you over here in the workspace, I'm not sure I'm going to really enjoy that. And I'm going to need a bigger chest. I'm going to need a bigger chest. Boop, boop. Because we're going to have to put the flowers in there too. All right. You'll just have to deal with that for right now. And I guess I can go cross over the inventory. So we've got that. We've got plenty of flower production now. I think in the next episode, I really want to start getting into like, you know, crazy stuff. I want to get some advanced stuff. Uh, we've, you know, I've got plenty of mana being generated. I mean, I obviously could use more, but I've got plenty of uh, mana being generated at the moment. And I want to look into what else we can really do with this freaking this mod. Um, I know <clears throat> there's a lot of cool stuff and that's what we're going to spend next time doing. But for the time being, I think this has been a pretty, uh, a pretty good start. Now all, all I needed, it was funny cause I really wanted, uh, to get going with, um, oh, what's it called? I need the blaze rods to get that thing under there. I haven't even used it yet because originally the reason I wanted it was it was a way to make redstone, uh, using glowstone. Glowstone converts into redstone. But apparently, I don't. That's not a concern anymore because I have my awesome little setup down in the deep dark. So I'm getting tons of redstone now. So not even a concern anymore. And I actually kind of want to check and see um, how much I've actually gotten just during the time of this episode and see how that's working down there. But uh, this will be an automation setup that I'm going to look into. I'm going to have to figure out how to automate a lot of this stuff. We will see, because I know I can just automate stone going in, stone going out, and uh, autonomous activators. Put them down. We can, we can do this. We can definitely do this. Okay, it did a whole stack. How much mana did that use? Or is this pulling from? Oh, it's pulling from the mana pool. I don't even need this. This spreader is doing me no good right here. That's just pulling from the mana pool. That's pulling from the mana pool. Um. Yeah, this spreader was actually doing me no good. I can just put you right here, and we can be a little more productive here. And now you are going to be getting mana from these guys. Right? There we go. So you're going to provide mana to this guy pretty decently. And then you guys are going to get mana from... Yeah! All right, guys. Well, wow. Look at all those flowers. That fast. Okay, that Jaded Emma and the Ranthus is so worth it. So worth it. Look at all these flowers. I'm going to have stacks very, very quickly. And all it's doing is costing me mana. No more of those crazy freaking uh, fertilizers or anything like that the floral fertilizer none of that crazy stuff oh this is this is awesome this is awesome this is a good start i'm excited <clears throat> and like i said we are going to definitely dip into um some more extreme stuff i think coming up pretty soon i think in the next episode i'm going to line up a couple really cool things we can do because let's be honest making flowers is you know fun and all and being able to like make all these flowers is really really cool and all that stuff but i want to start getting into some decorative stuff i want to make some of this like glowing living wood and all these cool stones and do some decorations so guys until next time i am slaughter havoc and i am out of here peace